All right, today we're going to do a commission. I'm using this scrap, which doesn't quite fit my 48 by 48, but it's going to be okay because this is going to be 32 by 48. So theoretically, that should balance out. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I might need to switch to stretcher bars, but I think hopefully this will be tight enough. I can probably tighten it on this side, but not there. And we'll see how it goes. All right, the question of the day is, who is Pablo Picasso? <laughs> Alright, let's run through the colors. Carbon black, Mars black, titanium white, quin orange, primary yellow, pearly red dark, quin red, transparent red oxide, phthalo green, pearly orange, quin blue, ultramarine blue. Hopefully that focus, I don't know. <laughs> let's get the party started. <laughs> about ready to start so I'm gonna start with the good stuff the lick acrylic by Jessa as mentioned earlier I really like this stuff versus the cheaper stuff the cheaper stuff smells like I don't know what I think they make it in China it's just crap quality they might make this in China too I don't know but <laughs> it could be all the same crap but this smells a lot nicer it's a lot more money but um, yeah the quality is a lot better the other one you feel like you almost have to do three coats the two coats didn't feel like enough this definitely feels enough at two so um, but once you get volume going, you sell these all the time, definitely just buy pre gessoed canvas or even on stretcher and just avoid all that whole process. <laughs> And uh, anyway, we'll let this dry and then we'll do a next layer. All right, so today we're doing a commission. So I'm gonna try to do a replica of one of my earlier works. I'll change it a little bit so it's actually different work. I really don't like doing a copy copy per se. Um, and it's bigger, so I have to add a little more detail to kind of give it more meaning. Um, just if you scale it up, it doesn't always work well. So we'll see if the client likes it. Um, the client's my dad, so <laughs> we'll see what happens.
on to kind of a, a red, probably pearly red dark, we'll see. Um, and then work from there to red to yellow, because the yellow is gonna be our lightest color. We're gonna move all the way from the orange to reds and work on that. <laughs> highlights to kind of pierce through and bring more of this through more action so when we cover it you'll have those layers popping through <laughs> but it's gonna dry a little bit darker. So it's giving more variation in the oranges here. And we're playing with a lot of oranges and reds. So I'll probably do a darker red. And our last layer is gonna be the, the purple and it be the strong contrast for all the oranges here. <laughs> red to this uh, layer so to contrast with the red here and kind of give it more depth from the really light yellows all the way to the reds so that'll give it more depth <laughs> Oh, 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 
Today we're going to add a little bit lighter orange to kind of play off this dark red to orange. We're going to get a little bit lighter and then we'll probably go into the purple from here. Alright, so we just finished the really light yellow here to kind of, you know, give this layering to all the orange and yellow layers. So I think that makes sense now. And now we're going to add the purple and see if that makes sense. And then probably come back. We'll see if we need to add things. <laughs> So the question of the day is who is P Pablo Picasso? The reason I bring this up is to mention his importance. So he got his start in Spain and he learned academic painting. Um, his father taught him, but by the age of 12, he had already surpassed his father in skill. And by the age of 16, he had mastered kind of academic painting of Madrid. And his um, father wanted him to become um, this academic style painter in Spain and thought it was a waste when he went to Paris and started deviating into this crazy uh, Hold on a second Humidity's crazy right now <laughs> Into this crazy um, Yeah, he started doing um, Fauvism and he started copying all the greats of the time, you know impressionism and all this stuff and he started ramping up and then his first break was when he started doing cubism so this is one um, style he formed that was completely his own he did it with George Brock and several others obviously jumped on the bandwagon. wagon. From there, he kind of jumped in um, to kind of socialist realism, basically. Not socialist realism, but um, more realist style, but still kind of this pseudo dreamy, you know, almost like Dolly, but not as extreme. Um, and he did several different styles, supposedly six. Now this is one of the mark of a great artist is if you kind of evolve, evolve, evolve and do several volumes of work. So he dominated for the 20th century drawing on quantity, quality of course as well, lithographs, painting. So he set several world records of that century. So no one can touch it, everyone's dead. From the 20th century, there's no one left basically. And so he's renowned from the 20th century for one of the greatest painters and drawers of that epic. 
for me personally i would only collect up to cubism i don't really care for the rest i think it kind of gets stodgy overplayed but of course you own a picasso you own a picasso it's obviously great collector value but you know the last year was just terrible i think i mean he really dedicated himself to painting every single day instead of seeing his friends and family before <laughs> the community's crazy before he passed away he kind of knew the end was near but he just wanted to keep painting with the passion and so you know his first word was lapis which is pencil in spanish and he painted until every single day till he died um, at least the last year i don't know about the years before maybe he took some time off go to the beach and so forth but yeah very successful painter and very important and obviously very collectible so this is kind of the qualities you want to look for if you're collecting art is a painter that's developing their own styles huge quantity as well as quality so you want both and yeah that's kind of ramping up i mean you do have some exception to the rule like say vermeer and vermeer had maybe hold on humidity's crazy but vermeer had maybe 20 30 works assigned to his name very few and he's basically lost for 200 years while picasso is well known in his own um his own era, mainly because he did this lithography and prints, these limited edition prints that really allowed him to reach the middle level, middle class people they were able to collect him, you know, $1,500 at the time. Now they're worth probably 5,000 each. So, and these will continue to um, grow over time. Um, and there might be ways where it flattens out for a couple years, but you know, Picasso's definitely the greatest artist probably of the 20th century. And that's just a fact, you know, based on quality and quantity. So. That's what you want to look for when you collect art. Thanks for watching guys. All right, we just finished up the painting. Let's take a closer look. So it has this really nice geometry going through here. I used again, um, the orange and purples. This is kind of what the client wanted. So I had to stick to kind of that climate um, type of colors and basically similar, very similar to my old painting. I did change it because I just, Oh, copy I can just upload to Fine Art America right and just print it who cares <laughs> but if you want a real painting it kind of has to stand on its own if you get bigger um, things change uh, when you get bigger you can add more complexity or less complexity when it's smaller so um, you can do really big simple shapes as well it has kind of a profound hit on the face as well but you can go with more complexity the bigger you get so that's kind of what I've done here uh, I feel overall pretty good I thought I was gonna add maybe some you know some other marks at the end but i had a lot of preliminary marks so uh, maybe i should add some more orange lines to kind of give it more action but i think it has enough action going on <laughs> um, the geometry is different than the the painting i was working from and that one had kind of a really nice square block feel and this one has a little bit more open-ended uh feel to it so hopefully the client will like it which is my dad so <laughs> probably not a big deal um and yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.